Hi and welcome to the My Matcha Life Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to make a traditional matcha, North American style. So the items you'll need in order to make your matcha is a teaspoon or reasonable facsimile, your matcha powder, in this case we're using our barista's matcha, which we normally use for lattes or blender drinks, but it's actually quite a nice tasting matcha just with hot water all on its own. And then of course you'll need your matcha bowl, a traditional matcha bowl, a Japanese whisk or a chasin it's called, and then your hot water. So the first step is to put about half a teaspoon of matcha powder into the bowl. And I like mine a little stronger, so I might go for about three quarters of a teaspoon. And then add maybe an ounce of hot water. I remember the water is hot, but not boiling. So about 165 uh, Fahrenheit or 65 Celsius. So at this stage, you just want to get rid of any lumps that might be in the matcha. So you're pressing the matcha powder against the sides of the bowl. Some people like to sift their matcha, but because this is so finely ground, it's a very good matcha, um, I don't feel that that's necessary. So then the next step is to add about an ounce or two more of hot water, and this is right before you're going to actually whisk. And so you don't want the water to come up too high on your bowl, or you're going to splash it you know, all over the place. So the whisking motion is a zigzag motion back and forth, not a circular motion, so a W or a zigzag. And you can be quite rigorous in your whisking. So you see a lovely froth start to form. And, uh, and slow down, get rid of any large bubbles that might be there. And then this is your matcha. Can you see that? It's lovely. It smells delicious. So from here, um, some people would just drink it directly like this. It might be a little strong for many of us North American types. Uh, but personally, I pour that into my mug. And then I fill up my mug with the remainder of hot water. And there you go. Right. Thanks for watching. For more information on how matcha can enhance your cycling performance and other athletic performances, check out the link below at AverageShowCyclist.com. For more information on matcha itself, check us out at MyMatchaLife.com.